What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Charleston, South Carolina at Schumacher Homes and we're getting ready to walk through one of the homes I've been looking forward to doing the most and that is of course the Abigail. So sit back, relax, and I'll tell you all about it. This stunning blue beauty is the coastal version of the Abigail. There are several different exterior packages that you can choose from, including the American tradition and the French country. The exterior of this home has absolutely so much curb appeal. I love it. You have plenty of tin roof accents over the top of both your porch and the awnings over several of the windows, which I like the awnings. I think the awnings actually give it that really nice kind of coast, like that could be the thing that gives it that coastal feel, if you know what I mean. You do have a nice big porch here on the front of the home with plenty of space for a couple seats. And then as you go around to the side of the home, you will notice that you have your garage door. There is a two car garage within the home. And then along that side of the house, there are plenty of windows stretching from the first to the second floor. Continuing around to the back of the home, you have more beautiful kind of nooks and crannies. Great big porch back here. Perfect for spending some of those nice warmer summer afternoons with the ceiling fan up in there, sipping on some sweet tea or some lemonade. And then as you go around to the far end of the home, not quite as many windows on this side, but if you kind of take Schumacher's lead with all of these shrubberies, it could be a perfect place for a garden. Now the inside of this home does have some cool features as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get inside the home and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so when you first walk in this home, this is the view that you were greeted with. You have your wraparound stairs right here that go up to the second floor. And I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick and let you check out the entrance. Your foyer is a two-story open to above with this beautiful chandelier hanging right down over the top of your entrance. And then check out these floors. My goodness. I love these. So beautiful vinyl plank floors. Now up here at the front of the home, there are several things uh, happening. Let's actually, I was gonna do the dining room first, but I've decided against it. Up here towards the front of the home, you do have your junior suite, or this could be a, an in-law suite. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word there for a second. But just depending on, you know, maybe you got some slightly older children, or maybe your in-laws, or. Uh, you have a parent that lives with you or something like that. This is absolutely a perfect room. And then it does have a nice walk-in closet in here also. Now, if you've toured any of the Schumacher homes with me before, you've probably noticed that there aren't any doors uh, going into any of the rooms and it's not because it's like super open concept It's just because these are models and they don't put the doors in any other models That way you can just kind of flow from room to room super easy and it's really convenient for me because I don't have to keep opening up doors so From there you come into your ensuite single vanity plenty of counter space And then next to that you do have a nice window right here and your toilet and then behind that, you do have a shower with tile surround. Now, when I did walk in here, because this was the first room I came to and I hadn't quite checked out the plan yet, uh, and I saw the bathroom and I was like, oh man, another master bedroom with no tub. Everybody's going to hate me. And luckily, you know, I realized what it was uh, once I actually found the master bathroom. But um, so that was cool. Anyway, all right. Continuing down into the foyer, uh, up underneath of the catwalk upstairs, you do have a closet right here. It's currently housing a water heater, though that may just be because this is a model and that's a convenient place to put it. I think this would be an absolutely amazing coat closet since it is currently sitting right here towards the front of the home. Now to the right, of the door as you walk in, you do have your formal dining room with these beautiful mirrors. I almost said windows, but the, it's like a mirror accent wall back there. Really nice light fixture, very 
grand making a statement over the top of this massive dining room table. And then they did outfit it with a nice hutch over here. So plenty of room to actually probably get a really big one in there. I don't own anything like that. We got a, <laughs> we just have a, a little bitty thing with a glass front that we put pictures in, so. And then from the foyer and dining room, you do open up into your two-story great room and just check out those trusses. They are massive. And then right in the middle, you do have this huge chandelier hanging over the top of your living room, massive windows overlooking your back porch. And then over here towards the head of the living room, you do have your entertainment center, got your nice shiplap accent wall, plenty of cabinets and drawers. And this even has a nice pull out. And then behind us, as you look up, you can see the wrought iron banister up there looking into your kind of loft area. And then you do have two smaller uh, bedrooms up there also. So from the living room, we will travel into the kitchen. Again, beautiful kitchen as always with Schumacher Homes. Great big island in here, plenty of space for seats. And then you do have these nice pennant lights hanging down over the top of your island. And then on this side, you do have one drawer and a cabinet. And most of these cabinets on the island do have pullout. I've already gone to check. So I do love the kind of weathered look on these cabinets with a nice gray color, which is really cool looking. You have your dishwasher and that sits right next to your big old farmhouse sink with the stainless cooler fixtures. And then on the opposite side where the cook surface is, you have crank out windows on either side of your gas range. All soft closed throughout the kitchen. And then of course the cabinets, they don't go quite all the way up to the top. You do have a whole heap of recessed lights and then all of the drawers. And then back behind the counter, you do have some nice white tile backsplash. So really good looking. And then on the opposite side of the island, you do have two ovens. You have an upper and a lower. And then you have your great big stainless refrigerator. And all of that sits right next to this gigantic pantry. So absolutely plenty of room in here. Now, the pantry backs right on up to the laundry room. So this would be where your washer and dryer hookups are. I wonder maybe, um, you know, if you could divide this space up, I'm pretty sure you could, uh, being that Schumacher does customize some of their floor plans. And then off of that, you come into like your mud room area. You have a built-in bench right here so you can drop off all of your shoes. This little thing looks nifty. A little cubby hole down here with an outlet. That's neat. And then you do have a window. Now, through this door right here would be your two-car garage. And then on the other side of the kitchen, you do have your morning room. It's currently set up as a secondary little sitting area, maybe like a little reading room. It does have vaulted ceilings in here transom window and you do have some more windows right back here behind the couch of course if you wanted to you could add like a little breakfast table in here thus the morning room 
little place to sip on some coffee or some OJ and read the newspaper, or watch some tours on YouTube. And then right off of that, you do have a sliding glass door that leads out onto your back porch. Again, plenty of room back here for you to hang out. Got a nice ceiling fan over here. And then the only other door that does lead out onto this porch is from the master bedroom. So really nice, cool place to kind of hang out. All right, so from the morning room, we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs real quick before we get into the master suite because that thing is absolutely spectacular. But the stairs wrap around up here and then again, like I said, you have the wrought iron banister and little mini catwalk. You have beautiful views of these gigantic beams up here. And all of that looks down into your living room. And then I'll go ahead and turn you around. Really fun little bonus space, like a little loft area. So you can use this for a couple different things. Right now it looks like they do have it set up with, uh, or as a dry bar over here. And then you have a nice couch over here. So, um, you know, no underage drinking or anything, but <laughs> send the kids up here. Or not, just another little fun game room, you know? And then coming down the hallway, you do have a bedroom to the right and a bedroom to the left. Up above us, you do have attic access also. So we'll go ahead and go into the first of the two bedrooms up here. Again, nice size, plenty of room. Now both of these share a Jack and Jill bathroom also, but before I forget, we gotta go into the closet. So it does have a nice walk-in closet ample space but yeah Jack and Jill which is pretty neat uh, on this side you have your single vanity again plenty of counter space and then in the middle of the two you do have your toilet and your shower and tub combo And then back behind us, this is the vanity for the second room. Same thing, plenty of space with your single vanity, vanity lights. Now, the only difference is the bedroom that we're about to go into, this is its closet. So it's right here next to the vanity. Which is good because it gives it a little bit of extra space here in the bedroom. And I think this one might be a little bit bigger just because you don't have the bump out of the closet. So that's nice. And then coming back downstairs, right here off of the living room. Dang, you know, I forgot, I completely forgot about this. So conveniently off of the the living room. You do have a powder room right here. So half bath, single vanity, and then of course the toilet. That way nobody has to go hunting for a bathroom. And then right next to that, you come into your owner's suite and your first stop is this beautiful bathroom. So great big tile floors in here. Nice tub with the tile surround, which is nice. It's uh, something, it actually flows straight through the, the shower too. I don't know if that's something that we've ever seen before. Maybe we have. But next to that, you do have the shower and look at the size of that shower head. So the rainfall shower head up there is massive. And then you have your normal shower head and then even the shower tray down here is tiled too. And then back behind us, double vanity with a little space for a makeup vanity there in the middle. Your vanity lights. If 
very nice. And then in the back corner, you do have your toilet in the water closet. And then on either side of the bathroom, you do have walk-in closets. You get in here, but plenty of space in here. And don't worry, the water closet does have a door, so you wouldn't have to... I know that's something that people always bring up. If your significant other is in the bathroom. And then you got uh, some more access to storage in this one also. All right. And then into this big, beautiful thing. So vaulted ceilings in here. Great big light fixture. Humongous windows. I mean, look at these things. Gigantic. So absolutely a whopper of a master bedroom. And then again, like I said, you do have the door that goes out onto your back porch over there also. All right, y'all let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Schumacher Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description, or you can go check out timothyplivingston.com. According to their website, the price for the basic version of this model starts at approximately $462,000. Now, of course, that may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. I am not a salesman nor affiliated with any of the homes that I show here on the channel just simply here for inspiration and entertainment purposes only. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. My name's Timothy, and I will see your beautiful face in the next one.